sparks will literally be flying come 2024 when Osceola, Arkansas gets the steel mill of the future. It will generate nearly a thousand jobs and help Arkansas become the nation's leader in steel production. Our Troy Lynch has a special report on how this small town is forging the way for all of America. Quiet and simple. This is the town of Osceola, located on the other side of the Mississippi River from Tennessee. This small town of 7,000 is about to become Steel City. February 8th of 2022, U.S. Steel announced that it will be building its $3 billion project in Osceola. I think we've, we've won the, the, the mega billion uh, lottery here with this. Sally Wilson is the mayor of the town. She says this is the perfect place for the 6.3 million ton mega mill. This is a county that knows a lot about how to make steel and how to make it right and how to make it more efficient, the most efficient way to make it. So yes, it's exciting for us all. The new mill is the largest single project investment in the state's history. It's laid to wrap up construction in 2024 and has the capability of producing 3 million tons of steel a year. That'll push Arkansas past Pennsylvania as the country's number one steel producing state. Did I ever think it would be this explosive and, and we could say that once U.S. Steel is online that we'd have the number one produce, steel producing county in the entire country? Yeah, that's, that's pretty lofty, so uh, I, I'm, I'm pleased by the success that we've had. Nicknamed the Steel Mill of the Future, it'll be the second in Osceola and fourth in Mississippi County. You've got the transmission line there, the rail, the river. When the $1.2 billion Big River Steel Mill broke ground in Osceola in 2014, it started the trend of having environmentally friendly mills. It is uh, going to be a green or LEED certified steel mill. The steel industries in Mississippi County are the number one recycler in the country because they don't produce steel the traditional way. All the steel produced here is from recycled goods. To have U.S. Steel, you know, they're the, the top dog of the steel industry and have been for decades to come here to Mississippi County, it was, uh, it was very exciting. We went from the largest cotton producing region in the country to now the largest steel producing region in the country. However, Mayor Wilson understands that this project is a little too big for a city of just 7,000. It's good to have the entire county that's a helpful part of all this. This will be benefiting the county, all the county, all of the state. It's a big project. It's big for all of us. But of course, we're going to take care of Osceola first yeah. and our needs first. When U.S. Steel started its search for the mill's new home, it began with 40 different sites from 14 different states. It ultimately came down to three between Arkansas, Alabama, and Mississippi. Why add the most futuristic and advanced steel mill in the country to such a small town? It came down to three resources. I think the, the Mississippi River is number one, and the interstate and our railroad system and the number of utilities here, we have the combination that is ideal for industry. This mill will grow Osceola, Mississippi County, and the state of Arkansas with 900 new jobs, paying a minimum of $100,000, but also by attracting new businesses. Secretary Preston says construction, battery manufacturing, and automobile industries will look at Osceola as a new place to build new facilities of their own. There's tons of uses for steel. That really puts us, you know, front and center in the supply chain that people want to be located close to a mill like that. Some might call this business venture a steel. A small town that's now dreaming big. This is an exciting time for Osceola. All I can say is come to Osceola and grow with us. Come be a part of this excitement. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Arkansas Northeastern College is located in Blyville. That's just 16 miles from Osceola, and they offer an associate's degree in steel tech that takes two years to complete.